Let's go, baby! Go. Look at it. We got him here. Damn, watch out. Oh, Nick's in the picture. We going low. Ann Arbor. 45. 45. Come on. What are you doing, Nick? 44? 44 low? 43. Then we'll pull it right over your head. Pull the headband back over and then adjust the feel. I'll have you press and hold the digital crown to align. One of one, wearing number 12 in the field like I'm Tom Brady. What's going on, man? We're up in here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. For the Big Ten Outdoor Championship, guys. Welcome back to the vlog, man. We've been hammering away at these vlogs. Each one is getting better and better than the last. And hopefully, this can top the last Drake Relays vlog. And if you haven't went ahead and watched that video, man, go ahead and click that link. Watch that 146 split in the SMR. Watch that 303, because it was quite the entertaining race and the day. So, let me give a little breakdown of what's going to happen here at the Big Ten Championship. So, I'm in the preliminaries of the 800 meters. In order to advance to the final, I have to either get first place or the next four or five fastest times. And we're not really interested in not winning our heat. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Indoor season was an absolute tragedy. The tragedy of the Big Ten Indoor Championship because we were projected to place fifth. We didn't even make the final because we got too complacent within the first 400 meters. We got out in about 57 seconds. And next thing you know, we lifted up to a kick that we did not win. But that's not gonna happen here this time. It was a Wisconsin guy who knocked me out this time, and guess what? I got another Wisconsin guy who has the exact same PR as me, 147.4. And we're not gonna let that phase us, baby. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna run our race. Let me break that down to you real quick, what that is going to look like. So we're gonna take it out. Just like how we did at Drake Relays and we knew we should've won that heat, we're gonna take this one out as well. And whoever wants to come with is going to come with. We're gonna take that bad boy out in about 52 to 53 seconds. And you already know what we do best. Turn up around 500 meters and let that baby fly once we hit two to 150 left. Honestly, I would be extremely pleased with the 147 low and fine and free limbs. But a 146 would really send a statement out to the other guys, letting them know that we're not here to mess around. We're here trying to get that Olympic trial standard. Most importantly, we're here to score points for our team, bring home that title. So as of right now, it's early in the morning, about 9 a.m. About to get some breakfast. But then after that, we're kicking it for the whole day until our race. Our race is at 5.55 p.m., so let's go. Ann Arbor, Michigan, a beautiful track. We got nothing else to do besides focus on what needs to get done, and that's the job at hand, and that's win. So let's go out there, take care of business today, bounce back tomorrow with that 145. Come on, man. Let's go. Hey, don't quote me on this, y'all, but I might be one of the drippiest 800-meter runners in the NCAA. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. But if y'all rock this, on Instagram or make a post and y'all got something very similar to this, y'all tag me, you will get a repost. I promise you will get a repost. But on to bigger and better things. Race day, 5.55 p.m., 800 meter preliminary rounds. As you guys know, my history beforehand, first ever Big Tens, made the, made the final of the eight. That was indoor season last year. Went on to the outdoor season, did not make the final. Went on to this back indoor season, did not make the final. So as of right now, one for three. And today we're making a look at two for four. And the highest I've ever placed in, inside of the 800 individually was only seventh place. And we know that we are a lot better than a seventh place finish. And as of right now, coming into the Big Ten Championship, we're ranked fourth. And as you guys know, we're not going to settle for fourth place. We want top three. We want a medal around our neck. And then we're gonna go from there, baby, because after Big Tens comes regionals and the nationals and then Olympic trials. But we can only take things one race at a time. So we're gonna go out there, execute our race plan, and we're not gonna get caught up in a pack today. Today, we're gonna be the ones taking it out. Rain, wind, snow, sleet, tornado, I don't care what is ahead of us. We're gonna go ahead and make it happen. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the preliminary rounds of the men's 800 meter run. Let's see Nico Schultz's race plan and if he executed it. Shazam! 748, 24, 6 and a half. from the 1500 yesterday in this event. This is his first time ever doubling at the Big Ten Championships. So he'll try to punch his ticket in two events tomorrow. And Adam Spencer doing what Adam Spencer does. He likes to run in the back and then only kick hard when he has to. So 
He's occupying that final spot here as we approach 200 meters into this race, but watch as we get one lap into this race, he'll be in a totally different position likely. Let's come down what will eventually become the final straightaway. Rainy Ayub, a sophomore from Minnesota, leads the way. He's got Nico Schultz right behind him. Antonio Abrego, third place. And here comes Adam Spencer. Wow. Spencer went cruising toward the front of the pack. It's just so fun to watch that in, in a span of 200 meters, you can go from last to sitting in second position. And, and I totally expect him to start moving quite a bit faster here down the back stretch over shuts. And Nick Foster also starting to move well. He slides into third position here. Spencer running right behind the leader. Nico Schultz, sophomore from Nebraska. Does he have enough in the tank to hold on here? Big emphasis on winning the race, but even more important, the time to beat. You want to get into the final. If you don't win, you got to beat 149.92. It's going to be close. Spencer, AQ's in. And I believe, fast enough, Nico Schultz, the official time is 149.22. He's moving on, so is Nick Foster, 149.45. Both of them going to the Big Ten Championship Final. Adam Spencer, 148.88. Nice race. Yes. Two Badgers running well. Spencer really does not move into the front of this race here until about 70 meters to go, but he just looks really composed here over the final stretch. And, and I think anybody that's watched a lot of races that Adam Spencer runs knows that he probably only gave about 85% here in this race. That was the most painful 149 ever. He used so much energy on that back stretch where all the wind was, but we moved on. We stuck to the race plan of taking it out through the first four. But man, we're feeling it. I'll tap back in tonight when I got more energy, but when you don't have a way, you make a way. That's how we do it out here. Tap in later. Man, today was just one of those days where your body just did not want to feel feel good. I've ran a lot, I've ran a lot of my races this year, effortlessly. Pretty easy, not really tired afterwards, but sometimes, it's always the ones where the times aren't even that fast either. But most of the time when I PR, I feel amazing. You guys see me running around the track, getting up, celebrating, diving. But when I run these weird, strategic, windy races that are slower in the 148 highs, or 149 lows, and I'm just completely cooked. My legs are so cooked right now. Was it actually it's not even my legs, and my freaking breathing just all this down here is just dead. But. We made finals. That's that's all that matters is that we made the final and we're moving on and we advanced to the next day to help our team win the championship. So it doesn't matter how you feel in the prelims. All that matters is what time you ran and how fast you're planning on running in the final tomorrow. So time to regroup, get some good sleep, and hand out handle business tomorrow, man. Stand on business no matter how you feel. Let's go. The morning of the race. I have a chance to become a Big Ten champion today in the end of me to run. We got done the hardest part, and that was simply making the final. It's always the most daunting. There were guys yesterday who should have made the final that ended up running terribly upper in the, the 150s, 157s, 158s. And I've been there before, but I've been there to where I've had a terrible showing when I should have had a, a good showing. You know, it's, it's a terrible feeling, but it makes you a stronger man. It, and it, it teaches you that anything can happen on any, any given day on that track. So, And you know, something that really hit me was that, you know, when I was running, they didn't speak anything about me. Over shuts. That's her running right behind the leader. I'm known as the guy who was leading the race. One girl called me Schutz. And they were, it was all about Adam Spencer, the Olympian, the 1500 meter runner. And that's cool, he's an amazing runner. Today I'm gonna make sure that they know who Nico Schultz is. Because I'm not with this, the, the front runner, Mr. Schultz, the guy who just happened to be in the way of Adam Spencer or Rivaldo or any of these good guys. I'm gonna make sure that I'm a Big Ten champion today. And no matter what happens out there, I'm not gatekeeping. If I run freaking terrible, y'all are gonna see it. If I run amazing, y'all are gonna see it. And that's just the way I operate. One of your guys' comments really stuck with me. It's run fast or regret it forever. And that's how I live by. Go out there, perform to your absolute freaking best. Whatever happens, happens. Let's go. 
Hey, sometimes simple is better. This is this is drip. No arms, no nothing. 70 degree weather. Bro, they're not ready for what's gonna come today. This is that 145 shirt. Mess around go 144 if you're really feeling crazy. Stay tuned, man. Y'all about to see something crazy. In this final, so while his prelim time was nothing to write home about at 149.67, Marshall is absolutely a competitor. He's gone as fast as 145.86 during this outdoor season. That's seventh fastest in the country. Marshall off to a nice start here. Adam Spencer is another one to watch. Um, he's definitely dropping down in distance. We know him as a 1,500 more miles specialist, but he's racing how he usually does. He likes to go more towards the back, which is exactly what we saw from him yesterday in his prelim heat, where he went from close to the end to winning his section. Eric Albright settled into the front of the pack as well, right there with Rivaldo. Nick Foster from Michigan. Obviously, was just a big part of that 1500 only roughly an hour ago. Miles Brown for Michigan performing well. In addition, it's Albright, then Marshall. I should specify Albright, then Rivaldo Marshall, then Camden Marshall. And these guys are just really tightly bunched here. Adam Spencer is really going to have to try to find a way out of here because he's held very tight against the rail from Miles Brown. And he gets out there right behind his teammate, Casey, and he's really starting to move now. Adam Spencer is gonna move into second place. We've got 200 meters to go in this men's 800, and he's going to have to run down Nico Schultz, the sophomore from Nebraska. Camden Marshall, your defending conference champion. Does he have anything late? Camden Marshall settling in fifth. Rivaldo Marshall coming around the outside. Here comes Roban as well. This is a great race to the finish. Led at the moment by Adam Spencer, and he will win. Wisconsin's Adam Spencer, the 800 meter conference champion. You know, absolutely not surprising to see Adam Spencer come across the line first. Huge negative split as those guys went through the first quarter in 5509. Excuse me, that was Adam Spencer's first quarter, and we know that he was further back in the pack, but closing in 52-8 really is just a testament to his strength there. And Camden Marshall also closed really well too. He was in about fifth or sixth position and found some room to run on the inside of the track. And he's narrowly gonna get second place here. But if we look at last year's results, Spencer and Camden Marshall are going to flip-flop this year with Adam Spencer taking home the title. Boy, I'm swear, I swear, I'm the king of selling at these damn races. <sighs> 148, disappointing to say the least, but we helped our team get points and it's looking like we're gonna win the Big Ten Championship even without the four by four. We're still gonna run it, so we gotta go out there and give a good showing, potentially get another medal, get a medal, but tough one, man, it's disappointing. I mean, we went for it, we took a shot around 500 meters, it was going too slow. Got the respect, but didn't get the win. So we still got regionals to bounce back in the eight. It's very painful, you know, it's a hard pill to swallow, nevertheless, but all you can do is bounce back and learn from it. You know what type of runner we are? You know, if we go back in time, maybe you take it out, maybe you just lead it instead and open up in 52. But, you know, the race today just called for a kick that we just ended up not winning. So, when you're going against endurance runners and different runners and the high level athletes, things can get tricky. They either open up in 51 seconds or they open up in 55 seconds. And today it opened up in 55 seconds. So, time to bounce back, help our team solidify this win. And we'll talk soon, peace. Forty-seven, three, sixth place, but who cares? We won 136 to 80 something. Absolutely demolished all the other Big Ten teams. Now we have two rings to our name. We have the team score some points in 800 and four by four. That's it. But, right, let's welcome up our one sec. But now we go celebrate the win. Let's go. We don't got the hat, man. Big Ten champs, back to back to back. And we got some silly spray. Let's go. And we got the shirt posted up. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Look at the chain, though. Look at the chain. Don't do it. Look at that right there. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't get a medal, man. Hey, you got to ice out. What's that? Oh, Tyrone, show us that.
that sign you got there, man. Go fast the wrong side. Wow. D3 to D1. Look at that guy go. Overall, we can consess this. Yes, it was amazing to win the championship, but overall, we are hurting in the heart because that 800 did not turn out the way that we wanted it to. Got out kicked. Just didn't have it that last 50 meters, 60 meters. Got passed by a lot of people, and then four by four, we just fizzled out. Didn't really get positioned. So we're gonna go ahead and put in an ungodly amount of work these next two weeks to make sure that regionals, we advance. Can't take back what already happened. Super proud and glad to be a Big Ten champion with my team back-to-back -back years, that's amazing. But it's time to add on some individual accolades to my name. As of right now, I have the Drake Relays accolade, I have a sixth place finish, and I have a seventh place finish in the 800. But there's more There's more to me that I know that is in my ability. There's there's so much more depth that I know I'm capable of doing. It hasn't come yet. Every single time I think I'm on the path to figuring it out, I get humbled real quick. Whenever rather or not, it was getting a 147 indoors and being the number two all-time runner in Nebraska indoor history. And then bam, like I, I lose conference or don't make the final. And then I come outdoors, I open up at the 147 and then I haven't ran it since. And then I'm number six all time, but haven't ran it since, you know? So it's just like different things come into play. I mean, a lot of those guys I was racing today are 145, 146 runners. And I was within a half a second of them, you know? So there's levels to the game. I realized that, but I'm gonna have to level up to a new level that I've never been at before in order to make sure I don't have this feeling again of disappointment at the big 10 championships or any really big 10 or big national meet against world-class competition. So, again, super grateful for everything that's transpired within this past year. I'm, I'm in a better position than I've ever been, but I know there's more. There's more out there than I'm able to achieve, and there's more that I got to work on as an athlete. And this just goes to a reminder, too, no matter how high or how low you are as an athlete, everybody has their own individual goals. Everyone has their own troubles and trials and tribulations that they have to go through in order to reach that next level, you know? Maybe me not winning this championship is a sign that I got to work harder. Maybe it's something to keep me going to keep me hungry you know so but then again too 
awesome seeing all my viewers out there, all my guys, even guys. <laughs> shout out Adam Spencer and then uh, Andrew Casey too. They said they, they, they watched the YouTube channel. Those two guys ended up beating me today in the eight. So it's pretty cool. I, like I said, man, this, this, these YouTube videos are for anybody. Rather you're better than me, the same level as me, worse than me, it doesn't matter. You know, this video is just to, to be better overall, you know, just to get a different perspective, get a, get a different POV on, on different 800 meter runners, you know, so. Go Big Red! <laughs> but hey man thank y'all so much for tuning in and we still got regionals coming up where we got to make nationals in two events the 800 and the 4x4 but till then this has been nico schultz big 10 champ peace